have a Vyashma. And we're going to sit right here at the square. It's my Vyashma. I like saying Vyashma. If I've never had horseradish, horseradish is just like wasabi, no? It's basically wasabi. I've definitely had horseradish. Okay, are we ready? We're in the city square. Yeah, fake wasabi is usually horseradish. It looks like a Big Mac, not gonna lie. It very much looks like a Big Mac. But it's not. We'll have to do the taste test. Taste test. This is a very different vibe from yesterday. I've honestly maybe had a Big Mac once in my life. This was $8 Canadian. <laughs> I love it. You know what it reminds me of? There's a brand in Finland called Hesburger. <laughs> and they have a white sauce that they put. It's not horseradish, but Hesburger. I don't even know if it still exists in Finland, but Hesburger is very much like has a similar white sauce. Hesburger is awful. I like Hesburger, okay? I like the white sauce. It was a lot of mayo. If, if Hesburger added spice, this would basically be that. Mm. I really like it. Mm. Mm. I actually like it. The horseradish helps. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really good. This is what the inside looks. The meat doesn't even look that bad. It looks a little bit like a quarter pounder, but it doesn't taste like a quarter pounder. The tomato tastes fresh. The lettuce is not overcooked. The, the cheddar cheese is not like... It's actually melted on the inside. It's actually pretty decent. I'm surprised. Mm. I am very surprised. Yeah. No, the lettuce is not cooked. It's placed in the bun after, so it's actually still crispy. Do you hear it? I'm not used to my lettuce not being like a mushy mess in the middle of my bun. Because in North America, they just toss the lettuce in. No, the lettuce is like the soggy piece of food. Like, you don't understand. Like, I can't even find a bad piece of lettuce in here. Like, imagine this. Like, see, do you see this little piece? Like, with the, with like the mayo and stuff on it. This is what all the NA lettuces look like. They look like this, except it's huge. Like, for example, Polish. This piece would look like that, but this one instead, I can crunch on and actually taste like lettuce. Like we don't have that in North America. Yeah, it's all just soggy iceberg lettuce in North America. That's wild, dude. Tell me about it. Tell me. That's literally what it was like in, in, that's literally what it's like in North America. And the cheese, look at the cheese. It's melted, okay? Like in a good way. Like in a North America, this would just be a piece of cheddar. Like one piece of cheddar, right? Like this would not, this would not be on a piece of lettuce. Like the entire thing would just be one piece of let, uh, cheddar. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
It's it's actually really good. Why is this burger randomly so good? It's like the tomato is also still crunchy. Hello. How are you? Good. Yes, it's interesting. I came. Oh. <laughs> Can yeah. I join you? Um, I am live streaming. I'm sorry. What? I'm live streaming. Uh, oh, it's I not see. a vlog. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Alright, well. I just want my burger. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> you try. I just want to eat my burger. I'm sorry. Not a vlog. <laughs> I'm actually hanging out here with a lot of people. <laughs> Mm. Oh, uh. Sorry, I'm really, really curious now. Look at the bun. It's actual bread. It's not even flattened. And like, it looks puffy. It actually looks good. It actually looks good. Look at the bread. You can still see the air holes. I feel like when I usually go to McDonald's, the rat is like flattened. That's mm. good. They're way smushed in North America. No, McDonald's is not good in North America. That's why I'm shocked that this is like very edible here. Like in North America, I would only ever get Shake Shack. Um, yeah, like McDonald's with actual good ingredients, wild. Thank you, best ever done for the tier one. Welcome back to your second month, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mm, and I have Milo's, I don't even know what Milo's is. Yeah, no, this is, this is decent. Like, obviously it's still not a Shake Shack, shroom stack but it is good i like it i think eating is sightseeing you know yeah i like shake shack more mm. i think the one thing they could change no you know what i was gonna say the onions in this are very raw but I think the onions actually go really well with the horseradish, like the raw onion. I know a lot of people wouldn't like raw onion. I don't personally have anything against raw onion. And I think it adds that horseradish, like up your nose type of spice. And it's actually like really good with the horseradish. Usually I would say raw onion is not like, you know, on my top tier of ingredients that I want. I prefer my onions caramelized or something or like a little cooked. But like raw onion with horseradish is surprisingly good. I don't think I've like had that combo before. Like, you know how onion like punches you in the nose a little bit? So does horseradish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also have to cut through the beef. Okay, but you don't understand. This burger is way better than like your average quarter pounder in the US. Like this is way better. I don't like In-N-Out. I would still say In-N-Out's better than this, but relative to McDonald's, this is one of the better McDonald's I've had. I think another really good McDonald's I've been to was one in Switzerland. But the lettuce is good, onion's good, horseradish is good, beef is good. I like it. Mm. Dude, Swiss McDonald's was so expensive. Yeah, it was. It was very expensive. Mm. I would definitely say that In-N-Out is better than McDonald's here, but like it's In-N-Out. It's also 2x the price. I think I'm actually pretty full. I think I'm happy. 
I'm actually pretty satisfied. Yeah. No, I'm really glad that we just got that. That's the only thing we got. I'm happy with it. I don't think I need anything else. A Viesh map was all I ever needed. Zero to ten. Okay, so I'm obviously rating this based on all the McDonald's I've had in the world. I think if Swiss McDonald's is a 10, this would be a 9. China would, would be at 8. China is surprisingly okay McDonald's. Um, I think France is also around there somewhere, like 8. But Swiss McDonald's was really good. Like it, Swiss McDonald's did not eat like a regular McDonald's and the price was also not regular McDonald's. But Germany was also okay, so like about, I'm probably a little under France. This would be right around like probably an eight and a half, nine. And then Canadian and US are like at five. 